Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what we are going to do is a newborn essential or baby essential. I like to watch these kinds of videos, you guys. Kaya gumawa ako ng sarili kong video para kapag nagkaroon ulit ako ng anak in the future, which I do have two already, ay meron akong basehan or papanoorin. So, the first thing na pinakakailangan ng ating babies are car seat. Yes, you guys. Kami ay nakareside dito sa Canada, which is so helpful talaga na mayroong car seat. So, ang car seat na meron ako, you guys, ay ang Nuna. Nuna Pipa. So, meron itong stroller set, pero wala siya ngayon. This car seat, you guys, is one of the lightest in the market. And gusto ko siya dahil maganda siya and meron siyang built-in canopy. So, you need basket for the baby. Kahit anong basket man yan, basta may basket, it's approved na. Kasi nga, nasa ibang lugar tayo and a car seat is needed. Another thing na kailangan kapag ikaw ay may baby ay of course, diaper bag. This diaper bag, you guys, I bought from Call It Spring. Nag-sale lang siya for $20, which is so cute. 10 months old na ang aking baby, so small bags are okay. So, diaper bag is needed, you guys, para mailagay mo kung ano mga kailangan mo. So, for example, ano ba ang mga nasa diaper bag ko? Meron akong pack of wipes, meron akong mga diaper, and stuff like that. So, yan ang use ng ating diaper bag. Diaper bag is so essential kapag may baby ka kasi syempre, you have to be always ready kapag lalabas kayo and ayaw mo naman na pag nagka-accident, wala kang pambihis kay baby. So, diaper bag is another recommendation. Another essential for baby is a nursing cover. This is not actually for baby, you guys, but you as a mom, kapag plan mong mag-breastfeed, nursing cover is such a must. So, this is the one that I have. It's a petunia pickle bottom. And, nakufold siya into small piece which I love. Kapag okay lang sa inyo mag-breastfeed in public, guys, pwede namang hindi na kayo mag-cover. Pero, for me, as a conscious person, cover is a must. We also need a bathtub support this is the one that i have this one is by angel care you guys in the shade gray i just want the neutral color that's why i got the gray one but nung ako yung my first baby you guys wala ako nito pero this one you guys is such a heaven sent kapag nagpapaligo ka ng baby i can definitely put my baby on a bath kahit mag isa lang ako dahil sa bath support na ito Nung una, yung baby ko, yung firstborn ko, wala ako nito. So, pinapaliguan pa lang namin siya sa palanggana. Pero ito, you guys, my gripping help support siya para hindi madulas yung baby, which is good. Kasi, ang number one na kalaban ng parents kapag nagpapaligo ng maliit ay yung pagkadulas. But this one is like a rubber material, so hindi nag-grip yung baby. So, perfect siya kapag nagpaligo ka ng newborn or 10 months na si baby pero pinapaliguan ko pa rin siya dito. Dito na siya nakaupo sa side na to which is good. So, this one is a must-have. I think this one retails for $35 at Toys R Us and meron din siya sa Walmart and Churba, you guys. You also need a swaddle blanket, you guys. This swaddle blanket I have and they are from Cuddle Time. It doesn't matter, you guys, kung ano ang swaddle blanket na gagamitin niyo. So, ito siya. Swaddle helps your baby or soothe your baby during nighttime para alam nila na, oh, it's bedtime na. And para feeling nila nasa tummy pa rin sila, you guys. They can get a better sleep with swaddle. So, ang pagsuswaddle, you guys, it depends on the baby kung hanggang kailan niya gustong maswaddle. But on my baby's case, I think I swaddled him for like 3 weeks. Yeah, after that, ayaw na niyang maswaddle. So, swaddles are helpful. Huwag kayo masyadong bumili ng maraming swaddle kasi syempre, lalaki din yung baby and magkakaroon din sila ng time na ayaw na nilang paswaddle and gusto na nila ng movement. So, yan. This is the type of baby swaddle. Another thing that we need is that yung kanilang onesies. Yes. Hindi ko na mahanap, guys, yung mga onesies. Pero, 
Ang onesies na better kapag kabagong panganak ay yung mga zippered onesies. In that way, mas easy mo siyang change ng diaper. Kasi you know naman you guys, kapag kabagong panganak, they always want to sleep. Ayaw mo naman na ma-istorbo yung kanyang tulog. So, mas easier kapag ka yung zip up lang yung inyong onesies. This is so helpful. You will thank me you guys kapag ka nakinig kayo. Yes, onesies. He's awake! So, another thing that you need is nose Frida. Ito, maganda to kapag ka sisipsipin mo yung kanyang ilong kapag congested siya. So, ganito lang siya gamitin. So, yung red part niya, ilalagay mo sa mouth mo. And then, yung blue part, ilalagay mo sa kanyang ilong. And then, isasak mo lang. Yung ganun. Makukuha niya talaga yung sipon sa ilong niyo, guys. Especially kapag congested yung baby. Super helpful to. Nung wala pa ito, minamano-mano lang ni daddy. So, sinisip-sip niya yung ilong ni baby. That's not sanitary. And pwedeng mailipat yung bakteriya sa naninip-sip. So, this one is so helpful. And so genius na rin sa mga gumawa. Another thing is the vitamin D drops. Ito needed sa mga newborn. Especially sa mga batang may jaundice. This one. Yes, vitamin D drops. Binibigyan ko siya ng 2 drops every day. Kahit 10 months na siya, binibigyan ko pa rin kasi purely breastfed siya. So, I don't know kung may, merong nakukuhang more vitamin D. So, sinusupplement ko pa rin siya ng vitamin D. Say hi. Of course, guys, need din natin ng diaper. Ang favorite ko na diaper, guys, is yung Pampers Baby Dry. I never use a kwan guys. Hindi ako nag use ng cloth diapers. So, we just use disposable diapers for him. And the best one is the Pampers Baby Dry. Another thing na kailangan namin ay ang diaper rash cream. At ang gamit namin sa kanya ay Sucoderm. I also have the Penaten. Yung Penaten, super suitable siya for Clyde. Pero this one, nagra-rush pa rin siya sa Penaten. So, I bought this Sucoderm. This one is a travel size lang, you guys, na nakukuha namin sa mga clinics. Which is good! Okay. One more essential thing that we need, you guys, is a sanitizer. Ito yung aming travel size. We do have the full size too. Especially kapag ka newborn yung baby nyo. Mag maganda yung any type of sanitizer para hindi magkalat ng bacteria anywhere. Hindi sa pagiging maarte, you guys. But prevention is always better than cure, right? We also need wipes, you guys. The wipes that I use is this water wipes. Gumagamit din ako guys ng Kirkland Wipes, which is the green one. Ito, super gusto ko rin to. And the Pamper Sensitive Wipes. Ito yung mga paborito ko. This, you guys, is just purely water na meron lang drop ng grapefruit. Ang maganda sa kanya, super mild lang siya sa mga skin ng babies. So, yan, wipes. Another essential thing is the baby rattle, you guys. When I had my baby, super umiiyak siya kapag nilalagay siya sa car seat. So, ang gamot ng pagiging iyakin niya sa car seat ay baby rattle. So, we do have baby rattle for him. Alam ko na medyo addiction na konti ito, but anything na tumutunog para sa kanya ay super okay. Another essential, you guys, is a baby Tylenol. Yes, as you guys all know, ang baby ay ni-injectionan every 2 months. 2 months, 4 months, 6 months, and then a year. So, every time na may i-inject kan sila, you guys, meron silang lagnat or anything like that. So, kailangan natin silang bigyan ng baby Tylenol or you can also give Advil for them too. Yeah. This varies, guys, kung gano'n siya kabigat. So, yan. Another thing na super thankful ako na meron ako ay ang nightlight. Ito ang aming nightlight, you guys. Binili ko siya sa Amazon. So, ganito siya. Pwede mo siyang lakasan. Yan. Meron ding color changing effect para naman natutuwa yung bata. Yan siya pag nang change ng color. 
What I love about this night light, you guys, hindi siya masyadong magasta sa kuryente. So, eto na ang kwan namin. Iniilaw namin buong magdamag para kay baby. Yan. Meron siyang dim light. Kasi, you guys, kapag gabi, no, kailangan namin ng ilaw mula gabi hanggang umaga. So, masyado kasing bright minsan yung aming lampshade. So, naghanap ako ng alternative which is nakita ko naman to sa Amazon and super helpful siya sa akin you guys kasi you know for night feedings and stuff ito yung nakaka-help talaga ng sobra kaya hands down we need a night light anything na rechargeable or anything like that okay na yun basta night light for baby is a must a diaper caddy Sa mga taong walang hagdanan or stairs, okay lang siguro na walang diaper caddy. But for me, na may stairs kami and lagi kami nasa baba, and yun, kailangan ko talaga ng diaper caddy. So, dalawa yung diaper caddy ko, guys. Ito yung isang diaper caddy ko na nilalagay ko sa room para easy access. Meron na siyang, yan, wipes, and then nilalagyan ko na diaper ni baby dito. At meron din naman akong isang diaper caddy dito sa baba para hindi na ako babalik sa taas and baba kapag mag-change ako ng diaper most of the time. And if you are going to ask what kind of diaper caddy is this, this one is the Skip Hop. Yes, Skip Hop diaper caddy. And structured siya guys, kaya gusto ko. Yan. Hindi siya foldable or anything like that. And meron siyang feature na night light. Yan, para kung ayaw mong magising yung asawa mo at walang ilaw, you can use this night light. Yan. Ayan. Na-turn off na siya. Yan, guys. Super okay. Another thing that is needed is a teether. Ang pagngingipin ng isang bata ay isang struggle sa kanila and isang milestone. So, teether is a must. Um, hindi kasi natin alam guys kung anong man sila tutubuan ng ipin. Like my son, he was 10 months old already pero wala pang ipin. So this one is the teether. Kahit anong teether, works good na yan. Basta ma-help nyo lang yung gums nila pag sila ay tinutubuan ng ipin. Kasi masakit yan kapag may cut sa kanilang ipin. Another thing is this one. Ito para siyang lo lollipop you guys. Meron naman may mga mesh na lalagyan ng fruit feeder. But this one I love kasi silicone siya. Hindi siya mahirap linisan. Ito super helpful you guys kapag pinapakain ko ng fruit si baby. Kapag ayoko na makalat or what, this one is the way to go. Binilo ko siya sa winners. Another thing na need din ng baby ay baby carrier. So, nung ang baby ko ay 1 to 6 months, ang pinaka-helpful na carrier sa akin ay yung baby ton. Kasi mahilig ako guys sa mga wrap na carrier. Ang baby ton ay good siya kasi hindi siya masyadong komplikado kapag i-apply mo sa iyong katawan. And it's so good kasi cloth lang siya. Parang hinahag mo lang si baby and something like that. Pero nung siya ay lumaki-laki na, hindi na kaya ng baby katan. Masakit na dito sa likod. So, ang gamit namin ay yung Ergo Baby 360. And until now, na 10 months siya, ginagamit pa rin namin. And we plan to use that kapag mag-travel din kami sa Philippines. I-insert ko na lang guys yung clip ng pagsusuot namin ng Ergo Baby. Ang gusto ko guys sa Ergo Baby and Baby Katan, baby wearing is a must, you know. Kasi yung baby ko, super gusto niya ng laging kinokuddle siya. Super gusto niya lagi siyang kinikerry. So, nakaka-help talaga yung baby carrier para masuit siya. And hindi siya grumpy, you guys. Super helpful siya. And kapag nagtitingin kayo ng magandang carrier, ergo baby is the one to go, no? Kapag ka mas malalaki na sila, hindi siya malaki. And I think you guys, that concludes the video for what does baby needs. Aside from the clothing and stuff, you guys, yung mga medyas, kailangan naman talaga yan sa mga bata. And of course, mga mittens and stuff. Kasi mga baby pa sila, so nasuscratch yung kanilang face. And yun you guys, sana naka-help and nakapulot kayo ng mga tips sa mga baby needs nyo kapag kayo ay buntis or magkakaroon na chikiting. Dito ko na i-end yung vlog you guys. I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below kung ano pang mga gusto nyo. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!